Reticular chemistry is the stitching of molecular building blocks together to make framework materials. These framework materials are composed of organic units and inorganic units, and they are porous. Their porosity is extremely high. For example, in one gram of one of these materials we call metal organic frameworks or MOFs, in one gram there are 10,000 meter square surface area. That's the internal porosity that exists in one gram of MOF. And therefore, within these pores, one can trap gases such as hydrogen for automobile fueling, carbon dioxide to, to prevent carbon dioxide from reaching the atmosphere in power plants, and most recently, water harvesting. Uh, there are many, among which uh, the components that are organic can be functionalized nearly at will. Almost any organic reactions can be carried out on the organic components of these materials and also the inorganic component, which is a metal containing component, um, can also be varied among many different metals, all the way from calcium to iron to zinc to, um, to uh, uh, manganese, titanium and other metals. Uh, the other advantage is that these uh, building units are stitched together by strong bonds. And that's really what's new here in reticular chemistry, is that the frameworks are robust and therefore they have permanent porosity. Uh, gases and molecules can move in and out of the pores without the entire structure or without the structure collapsing. This is really the important part of the development of this chemistry. Another, another important component of the chemistry is the, um, the fact that they are crystalline, which means that they can be characterized with great definitiveness on the atomic and molecular level. Those are important advantages that have propelled the field forward. You know, it's a, it's a magnificent field. It's a dream come true to be able to put uh, building units of various ge geometries together and make an entirely new family of materials, both metal organic but also completely organic materials, is really a dream come true. So we are almost like kids in a candy shop uh, trying to figure out which frameworks we can make for a particular application. Well, I think the question of the problem of water that, uh, that uh, in, in, uh, in the world that affects a lot of one-third of the uh, world population uh, is, uh, is an important application for MOFs. And recently we have found that one can trap water from the atmosphere, especially from desert uh, arid regions of the, of the world. I think this is an important application. I think it has the potential of watering dry regions of the world and also purifying water where water might be available but not in, uh, it might be contaminated.